welcome again to another day with us in the backyard apiary all right so what we want to give you today is the hive in our apiary that we think isn't going to be performing well right we're just kind of gonna show you pretty much this hive and we might even compare it to the other hive beside it to kind of show you what i'm expecting all the hives to do and kind of what kind of growth and build up i'm expecting to see inside the hive we do have one right in front of us here that we haven't put on any supers everybody else have a super except this hive um, we just weren't seeing the growth rate from it so let's give you a preview of it all right all right so this is a fairly new queen as well so this queen we thought she was doing okay in the mating castle so we moved her to a production um, position all right so typically when i transfer them from the mating castle they are usually on three frames right because that's what the compartment kind of hold in the mating castle so i would have moved the three frames from the mating castle the colony that was originally here i would have taken like probably two or three frames of brood just just the frame with the brood not the bees and put it in there and then just leave the box here and basically gave it feed similar to the rest of them like some pollen sub and some sugar syrup and that was way back in september everybody our majority of the hives in the apiary that are on position our production position kind of went through that you know and this was the only one that's just not um showing the growth we want and it's the only one we kind of lagging behind everybody else let's see the, i'm seeing where the foundation sheet seems like it's built now so we don't know if anything happened in the past probably week or so which we haven't checked it so this is the foundation sheet that we gave this hive and this got this foundation sheet uh, i think about late september no i think it got it in october yeah so this is a foundation sheet all it did was to just basically build it out and store food in it so this is actually all the nectar that they were collecting during the Aki season we could literally take this out and give it to a different hive and they'll probably fill this in a little bit more and cap it off and we can harvest it because this game this went into the hive um while i think this while the Aki was blooming um pretty much and this is what they did all right so let's see we're trying to figure out where the brood is all right so only thing we see is drones on this frame yeah some hatching drone and stuff are on this frame so not much is to this side all right so that means we're gonna have to move to this direction to see if we can find some brood Yeah, so not much brood on this either. We should be seeing like all the other hives would be, we should be seeing like cap brood and stuff like that. Lots of cap brood. Um, but as you can see we're four frames in. All we're seeing is just food. And um, pretty much older brood that has been in this hive for a while and probably hatching out. Yeah, so we finally meet up to the brood frames now. So this is the first brood frame. You see how the brood frames are looking? Very spotty. Um, pretty much a small little brood area on this frame. You yeah, know, so this is pretty much the first one. All right, so there you go. All we're seeing is just that one brood frame. Everything else kind of filled in with food and just have some spotty brood and stuff and the queen is actually on this frame so let's see if i can show you her so she's right here as you can see is a nice looking queen yeah nice looking queen um so they'll make a little queen cell here so it look like they want to actually i don't know if that's a super seizure but that's one and there's one at the bottom of this section here as well so they're building one more here um, so they're definitely trying to replace this queen so something is up with this queen why she's not really performing well she's not laying 
nice blocks of brood and all of that on the frames all right so definitely the bees are actually showing me that they want a new queen they're making cells now the thing is we don't necessarily want them to make daughters from this queen um, just from the fact that she wasn't performing well you know um, uh, we're not gonna let them just replace and use her genetics as a replacement so we're gonna have to give this colony a new queen so we're gonna let her stay here for a little bit longer all right so that's a glimpse into the one that's not doing well all right as you can see we'll show, we'll show you the queen on a frame that frame don't have much brood on it they actually have two swarm cell looking um structures on the comb uh, more than likely it's a supersedure cell and they're just trying to supersede her um, usually for swarm situation you'll probably see more cells about um, when they're superseder supersedering a queen you're not gonna see a lot of cells you're probably gonna see one two or probably three the most um, so they're trying to supersede her um, so yeah and you see the few frames I showed you not much brood so that's how this hive is looking now for us in our apiary we can't let this hive stay like this um, it's not gonna be um, productive that's one uh, two it's only going to put out more unwanted or unfavorable drones in the environment so I'm pretty much prolonging the genetics of, of whatever was happening here so that's another reason why you want to try and remove them from the apron as quick as possible so this one definitely we're gonna have to see if we can find a queen that's looking good from the mating castles uh, so what we'll do we'll put a five frame nuke here transfer whatever we're transferring from the the nuke which is gonna be three frames probably two uh, depending on how far along those queens are two frames and then we're gonna have to just take out two frames from here and we might give it a foundation sheet um, just for good measure and then the rest of these comb we'll move them out we'll probably find use for them or we just let them rub them out all right so let's give you a glimpse of a hive that's beside it and you'll see the difference well hopefully this one is performing well it has a super so it should be all right so that's pretty good they're actually building one of the combs in this super here right here so this one is being built out um, and they have some comb on this one as well so we know this hive is doing pretty well i uh, don't think much a lot of nectar is coming in right now so but they, yeah they are finding food and the thing is that super is very heavy as well so we know some nectar is potentially in the built out comb in there. one thing i don't like so far that i'm seeing in this hive is that they haven't built out this bait frame that we put in here so we always leave a little shallow in here in the brood area reason being we want them to utilize here for whatever they want to do and build their drone comb below here so i can scrape it off so that's kind of a minimalistic kind of varroa might control mechanism you know varroa might love drone comb or drone brood so all the frames here are usually mostly probably 99 percent um, worker cells so this is the only spot they have to put um, drone comb below this frame as you can see we have a foundation sheet in it right so usually what we're expecting them to do is use this to build drone comb and that's where they put their drone brood but they haven't touched this as yet now this frame beside it let me show you something here So this frame beside it see this nice wall-to-wall -wall frame of brood this is what we want to see in our colonies you know it doesn't necessarily mean that we're gonna have 10 of these frame in the colony but we should be seeing like 
three or four of these frames pretty much all right and this is to this side so we know this colony have a lot of bees that's gonna be hatching out soon because one of those frames is probably gonna hold about 7,000 bees depending on how how much brood is on it so that's um basically 90% of it is brood capped off so we're gonna have probably about 7,000 bees hatching out in the next couple days or so all right so we want to check on this other side see what's happening the reason why i put my finger over there is to not let the bees get squeezed up because some of them are along the edges so i usually just put my finger over there so it doesn't go all the way to the wall and squeeze bees all right so on this side see again we have another frame with brood so this was a foundation sheet we gave them they built it out and they're laying brood in it see that so that's good stuff this is what we're kind of expecting all our hives to to look like you know brooding up walls of brood in the brood chamber So you see that 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 span so it's one two three four five six seven eight because some brood is on this we didn't check this frame so we're gonna not just call it eight frame of brood this colony is sitting on right now yeah and both of these hives went through the same process or procedure of getting a new queen you know and then giving them supplementary feed and gradually giving them the foundation sheets throughout the aki plume um, so this was one of the sheets this was one of the next sheet that they got so this got two sheets of foundation and it got a bait frame which they didn't build out yet that's fine they're building in the top now the next thing is we're not running any queen excluders right now um, we're kind of leaving off the queen excluder till probably close to next year close probably about in december we might put on the queen excluders um, shake out the bees out of the supers and then drop on the excluder and so forth and some of them we might not even put on the excluder you know we might just see how things turn out we know for sure though the queen is gonna go up there and lay a lot of drone comb and drone brood because um, that's the only spot available um, where they have built that might have drone brood drone comb and so forth for her to lay in so as you see the two comparisons um, this is a hive I would say is doing very well the other one is an example of a hive that's not doing well the queen is in there um, but she's not brooding up properly and the bees are even giving me sign they have two little queen cells in there um, one that's being capped off and one that's capped off already so that colony is pretty much on its way out unless one of those queen i allow one of those queens to probably hatch get go out and get mated which probably gonna be the next 21 days before this hive probably get back to a queen right state so instead of waiting so long i already have queens in my queen castle so i can just put a mated cast, mated queen here and just let it go on you know um that would pretty much save me 21 days you understand so that's it so that's a glimpse of those two kind of hives uh right now nothing much is going on in the apri other than just have to kind of monitor them but what i want to do all of these production hives i'm gonna need to pop into all of them just to see what's happening making sure everybody is okay um because you never know anything can happen to the hives you know the might lose a queen somewhere somehow um, or they decide to swarm i don't know it, it's these bees are pretty pre unpredictable sometimes so you never know so we know we haven't been into them for quite a while like checking the brood because we know 
we were giving giving them the foundation sheets we're giving them the super so we know they had enough space to put the neck down so forth but we still need to do a, a, a definitely a deep dive in their brood area just to make sure they're doing fine so definitely probably weekend depending on how the weather is we'll pop in check if everybody's doing good but so far so far the mating castles are doing good the reserve hives here on a boat in the apri are doing good as well and look at that guys we have those goats around the hives you know the bees not gonna just attack the the goats or anything unless the goats probably go exactly in front of the hive and like brush against the entrance you might have a few that come out and try to attack them and the goats will run away they might get stung but they'll just run away and they'll be fine that's pretty much it even this one we expanded here managed to find uh, a foundation sheet that we had in a box that we didn't know we had <laughs> so we gave it one single foundation sheet uh, just now because we would really love for it to have uh, as best as possible as an organized brew chamber so that's it for today guys just want to say thanks for tuning in your time was greatly appreciated just want to implore you to give the video a like share with your friends and definitely hit that subscription and notification bell so you can see when new videos come out and peace out